Welcome to Cedarcroft. We're glad that you're here. And let's make some home-baked mac and cheese. This is my mom's recipe from how many years ago? 60. 60 years. <laughs> 60 years she's been making this. <laughs> um, so anyway, she's been making this a very long time. And um, here she's prepping for um, two double batches because when we make this mac and cheese, we do like to um, make up some pans and once it cools, we wrap it real good. We freeze it and that way, uh, if we have company or if there's a night when we just don't feel like cooking, we can pull one out early in the morning let it thaw and stick it in the in the oven. If we forget to thaw it, we can still stick it in the oven, but it just takes a little bit longer to bake um, from a frozen state. So let's get started. But first, coffee. Because it's really early in the morning. <laughs> The ingredients for the baked mac and cheese are very simple. One pound of Velveeta cheese, one stick of butter, one cup of milk, one quarter cup of flour, and one pound of mac and cheese. That's for the mac and cheese itself. You cook the mac and cheese, and then you stir everything up and melt it together. And then on top, one cup of cheddar cheese will go on top. And so that is very simple. So you count your 15 minutes as soon as you put it in? Yes, I did. Okay. We have about two more minutes until the macaroni is done. So what I'm going to do is take the flour mixture, well, whether it's flour, bisquick, whichever you have on hand, and I'm going to put it in the milk and then just kind of give it a little stir um, just to kind of get it mixed up with the milk so that when we pour it in, we're not pouring in clumps of flour into the pot. And that's good. When you stir flour or any type of flour mixture into something, you wanna make sure that you're stirring it into something cold because if you stir it into something hot, it, it clumps up really bad right away and, and it gets really thick right away. So you wanna make sure that your liquid is cold. So obviously cold milk works really well. Okay, and while mom was draining the pasta, I turned the stove down really low, and that way it won't burn the bottom. So we put the Velveeta, the butter, and the milk, and the flour into the pot along with the macaroni. She's gently stirring as the Velveeta melts. Don't over stir right at the beginning because you need to let that melt down a little bit. Okay, we're adding one more cup of milk. Does that feel better? Yes. Okay, so for a double batch, we used three cups of milk. So when you were a little girl, did you ever think you were going to be on TV? Me? <laughs> when I was a little girl, I didn't know what the TV was. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, I was in high school before I seen TV. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh. 
I have three pans out just in case it takes three for this double batch. It may not, we'll find out. But you're going to want to either spray your pans or butter your pans or do something with your pans to help keep it from sticking. I'm using organic extra virgin olive oil um, spray. And this spray is kind of weird, so get ready. Okay, the easy way to scoop your pasta, your mac and cheese into the pans is by using your measuring cup. That way, you know that you're keeping your pans even as well. So, let's give it one more stir. And it's okay if you have, still have little clumps of Velveeta in there, that's okay. You're right, I'm gonna just do two. Yeah, I think you better do two slightly. Yeah. We were debating the size of these pans, and of course, mom's right. And um, it really will just fill two. We might have a little extra, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, we're gonna take our spatula and make sure that we get all of that cheesy goodness out of this pan because we don't wanna waste any bit of it. Okay, your last step in this is to take the cheese, the cheddar cheese, and just Spread it on top, and that is going to help make your cheddar cheese go a little bit over the top. Then when you bake it, it's gonna get nice and brown. That's the best part, is the crusty brown part of the mac and cheese. So we're gonna put this in the oven and bake it for about 30 minutes, right? Yep, 30 minutes. For about 30 minutes and uncovered. And you're gonna watch it. If it does start to get too brown on top, just put a little bit of tin foil over the top, but it's gonna be so good. We're gonna put one in the oven right now so that you can see how delicious it looks. And we're going to cover one. And these tins I got off of Amazon, and they come with these lids. So we're going to cover one and label it. And put that in the fridge. I should have let that cool first, huh? Well, it's okay. And um, We'll put a label on it and we'll put that in the freezer, but first we're gonna let that cool off a little bit, but I'm gonna get this one in the oven. So as you can see, the macaroni and cheese bakes up so nicely. There's little bits of brown. Uh, on the top where the cheese is. And if you cook it just a little bit longer, then the sides will get that crispy, really delicious um, edge. And if you're one that likes that, just let it go just a tiny bit longer. This is comfort food at its maximum. So does it look like what you've always made, Mom? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks good? All right, so this is what we're having for maybe lunch or dinner tonight. And um, 
I don't know if we can wait till dinner. I'm not sure. Or breakfast. <laughs> or breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so before we let you go, we are going to put some in a bowl, and Mom and I are going to try it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's gooey on the bottom. It's crispy on the sides. Oh yeah. That's the way it's supposed to look. Nice and loose. Mm. Look at that. Look at that bite. Look at the heat. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's so good. Better blow on it. <laughs> it's really good. Hot. Delicious. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hot, delicious. Mm-hmm. Gooey. You're going to want to make this for your family. Until next time, thanks for joining me, and thanks for joining me on this journey as I go back to Cedarcroft. Rosie, do you want a bite? Do you want a bite of mac and cheese? Yes? You're so gentle. Rosie, you want a bite? You want to taste too? <laughs> Rosie and her companion. <laughs>